You know, Pixar, I've, I've said before, I think there's an argument to be made that Pixar is not just the best animation studio, but there's an argument to be made they may be the best movie studio, period. Live action or animation otherwise. When you look at their track record, you can't deny there's an argument to be made there. Anyway, their newest film coming out right now, Turning Red, uh, by Good Canadian Girl, the, the director from Bow, which, by the way, one of the most adorable so short good. films they've ever done. It's so amazing. It's so good. And, and again, Good Canadian Girl getting her own full-length feature film for Pixar, and that's coming in on the way. And it's called Turning Red. And the trailers have been simply adorable. Like, I've really enjoyed the trailers. I also get a kick out of seeing it all happens in Toronto, which, is, of course, my neck of the woods. But still, looks adorable, looks fun, looks great. Then came word uh, that Disney made the absolute moronic, stupid, brain-dead decision that, once again, they were going to take a Pixar film and dump it on Disney Plus and take it out of theaters. Uh, which pissed off people at Pixar, caused a lot of confusion for a lot of us, whatever. First reactions started coming out. First reactions looked pretty good. But now the review embargo has lifted and the reviews are coming out. Now, when I first checked the reviews this morning, it was sitting at 90%. It has since climbed to 93%. Now, the general consensus that I'm seeing from the reviews, and I've not yet watched it myself, is that this is not top shelf Pixar. Not the best of the best of Pixar. Like, it's not in that same category with what you consider the all-time best Pixar films. But the consensus is that it's extremely strong. A lot of people saying it's got incredibly, incredible good emotional depth. It's charming. It's got all the things that the trailer kind of made it look like it would be. But again, not absolutely top shelf. When we go through some of the reviews... The Arizona Republic is saying, it all works beautifully and the animation is brilliant. The Guardian writes, the journey is slick and uh, diverting and at times incisive, but Turning Red is yet another Pixar film that coasts rather than glides. Hopefully its next offering can turn into something more. So again, liked it, but not, not top shelf, whatever. Little White Lies writes, the crown jewel of Pixar's people turn into creature uh, movies. The Daily Telegraph writes... It's hard to know what's more impressive about the latest Pixar film. It's boundless artistry, ingenuity, and loopy comic verve, or the mere fact that the studio got away with making it. Uh, the Globe and Mail writes, not only reminds you of Pixar's strengths in general, but how animated films can deliver layered, tricky, emotionally res uh, resonant stories with powerful, punchy pop. And that, that seems to be the kind of general consensus when you're reading through all of them. It's like, this movie is wonderful, it's fun, it's got great emotional depth. A lot of them, too, talk about the whole theme about growing up. But what I loved reading about was it's not just talking about growing up from the perspective of a kid. It talks about growing up from the perspective of an adult as well, looking back at, at how we evolved, developed and how we grew and all that kind of stuff. So it looks like this movie is everything I was kind of hoping it would be. Mm. Rob, you're hearing the reviews for this uh, movie now you've been seeing the trailers what are you thinking about this right now well you know we've talked a lot about how we think it's stupid that this was debuting on disney plus absolutely moronic and uh <laughs> i i have to say from the first time i saw the trailer for this i i looked at it and thought well this looks delightful and it it doesn't surprise me that it's getting you know good notices when when people it's funny because it seems to me now critical establishment that, that it's either if this isn't the most life-changing film you've ever seen, then it's <laughs> it's okay, you know. It's it's, it, but with Pixar, the 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 tier, the 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 ceiling or whatever is so high. The bar is set so it high. It really is. I mean, these these Pixar movies, we do kind of feel that they're going to change our lives when they come out. <laughs> I mean, like Toy Story three. You, you, who thought that was going to be as emotional as it was? And uh, it was, man. But I, you know, this I I'm, I, I'm really excited to see this. Um, when does it drop on Disney Plus this week? The eleventh. Yeah, eleventh. Yeah, so it is this week. Later this week. Yeah, so I, I, you know what? Uh, this is a day one uh, watch for me. Uh, can't wait. I do. It is it. Does it just go on regular Disney Plus, or do you have to pay a premium to see it? No, it's just dropping regular just on dropping. Disney Plus. Yeah. Well, I think. Look, they've got my they've got my first day viewership. So I'm excited, John. It sounds just like what I'm looking for. Now I, I should point out too that word has come out that Disney is going to open it. In one or two theaters in New York and at the El Capitan in Los Angeles. 
okay. on the same day that it drops on Netflix, so on, on March 11th. Let's be honest. The reason they're doing this is not to have a special fan experience. They're doing this to qualify it for the Oscars. Absolutely. So that's why they're doing it. And get this. So if you want to see this movie in theaters, you can only go to the El Capitan, which despite the most uncomfortable seats in all of movie theaters anywhere yeah. in the world, it's a pretty great experience going to yes. the El Capitan. They want 40 bucks a ticket. No. Yeah. What? Yeah. They want 40 bucks a ticket. Uh, and Do I get a red get a... panda Snuggie when I get there? Like, <laughs> I... What's happening? That's like the, that's like the equivalent of, of what gas prices are today. <laughs> right? What okay. the hell? You can either drive for the same price. It's going to cost you to drive to the theater. No. And a pair, then there's a $75 ticket you can get that will also get you like a tub of popcorn. Or like, I guess you're also, you're going to get a commemorative lan lanyard like for the special event. They're going to try to make it special, but it's like, Really? So you're depriving audiences of being able to see this on the big screen the way the filmmakers intended. But with what few exceptions you're having, it's not even early. So they're not even like playing this in these theaters like 24 hours before it drops on Netflix. Nope, not even that. But on top of that, you're going to charge $40 a ticket. Again, it's supposed to be a little bit of a special experience, I guess. I don't know what it's going to be in New York. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. But anyway, Chris, uh, you're seeing this. You're seeing the reactions that are coming out for it. The reviews are now dropping. It's scoring very high. Uh, you've been watching the trailers, combining it all together. What are you thinking about this? I think this looks so cute. I've been excited from this about this from the get-go because I love Bal like you. I think that short is so oh, it's good. Oh, so good. And this looks great. I love this character's confidence. I love the design of everyone. I love how the red panda looks. I think yeah. this is going to be so freaking adorable. I am trying to wrap my head around taking a child to see a movie for $40, though, if you want to get them <laughs> the big screen experience. Because, I mean, what a great first movie to go see in a theater. And the El Capitan is incredible. I mean, you've got that yeah. whole wonderful organist situation. There's usually a lovely pre-show, too. You usually see some really cool things from behind the scenes. But, man, that feels like highway robbery, and it feels like we're depriving children of a really cool experience. Yep. Yeah, and, a great, and again, it's... It's only one movie theater yeah. they're doing this in. It's only the one theater, but still, whatever. You Question can't go to Godiva after, or Gir Ghirardelli afterwards. You're too poor. Oh, that's the thing. The, the El Capitan <laughs> is right beside the Ghirardelli, so you walk out of the theater. You don't even have to go outside. They no, have a door you connected. go through it. Go right into a Ghirardelli, and you can grab all these chocolates and ice cream. It's so good. Anyway, question is for you guys. What do you think about this? The reviews for Turning Red are coming in, and they are predictably really, really strong. Have you had interest in this? Does the reviews increase your interest for it? Maybe you still have none at all. I'm dying to see this movie personally. Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down to the comment section below and leave us your thoughts.